Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Previously, I posted a video showing the unlocking of Han Solo. The main reason I have not been posting any Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos, I've lost some of my enjoyment for the game. Yes, I play it daily, but progress at a certain point had become stagnant. Achievements, like unlocking certain characters such as Han Solo, had become fewer. I was at a crossroads of sorts. Do I continue to the day-to-day -day grind, or do I just abandon my guild and abandon the game? There was one thing I thought greatly about. Do I purchase a hyperdrive bundle? For $99.99, you will get up to 85 player level, upgrade 65 characters, upgrade 16 ships, have plenty of gear and resources, and have activity access. I'm sorry the internal sound didn't record, so all this fanfare kind of, well, kind of anticlimactic. I mean, you look at the resources you get, and... My player, I'm already up to 85 level, no big deal. 65 characters, level 85 star rarity. Um, 13 ships, level 85 star rarity. 80k full gear pieces, 26k gear materials, and more. Yeah, that is a lot. And so now I'm going to go to Rogue One, one of my favorite characters, Jin Erso, and... Unfortunately, she did not raise up very high. And so, oh, now there's all these quests. So, whatever, I'm going to continue out of them and basically go back to the Rogue One characters. Yeah, there's these achievements and other things. I ignore those. I'm going to see if I can get back to Rogue One and Jyn Erso and see what I can do with her. Now, Jyn Erso is at 80, and she's very hard to find. Rarely does she come up in any way for you to kind of upgrade her. Um, like I said, her character level is already at 80, so I'm going to just essentially upgrade her gear level to level 10, which then will put her at a solid gear level if I ever get her up to the final 7th star, then I can raise her up to level 85. So I'll just get her up to level 10, and then I'll fast forward through pretty much all the character upgrades that I've been doing, and we'll go from there. Now you can see I am fast forwarding through a lot of character upgrades and modifications, and... I counted like almost a, about two dozen, I should say, not a two, two, about two dozen. And this is at 20 times the rate. This was a total of about 18 minutes of characters that I had modified and upgraded. And this is now compressed down to so many seconds or minutes and it is a lot of characters so I'm going to continue to let this go on and then I'll stop at a highlight point yeah that was a lot of characters now even a very minor character like Death Trooper was upgraded to level 80 and yeah, you can gear level him up to, and it looks like level 9. I'm not going to raise his character level anymore, but then we move on to other characters like General Veers, who I would consider a much more solid character to upgrade. And my policy has always been to upgrade higher level characters first. But usually I'll... For favorites, I'll make some exceptions. One of the other things is I started adding in mods to a lot of the characters. And 
I'm trying to do it smart and add in mods that are compatible so you can get extra bonuses. And I'm adding this to General Veers, so I'm going to try and add in as many high-level mods as I can. And I decided I'd go with purple and gold, which are the higher levels, which will get him to be a better character. So I'm going to fast forward some more to some other highlights. Again, I fast forwarded through a lot of characters and I stopped here on Han Solo, who I previously mentioned in the past of this video and in a previous video. He's one of my favorites, so I'm going to upgrade him. And the only way I can upgrade him is to upgrade his character level. So I'm going to go ahead and move him up to character level 55. So, or just even 60. So I can upgrade his gear level and get him ready for further upgrades in the future. As you can see, this hyperdrive bundle, just even fast forwarding, gave me a lot of opportunity to upgrade characters and it also changed the power structure of a lot of the characters as well. And so... I'm going to fast forward to the ship portion. Okay, for the sake of not making this video extraneously long, instead of fast forwarding through all the remaining characters, which I realized there were a lot, and by the time I got to the ships, this video would have been still 35 minutes long. So I'm just going to edit out and do some form of fade or whatever to get to the ship portion. Okay, I just trimmed out about 30 minutes of footage to, you know, uh, get to the ship portion here. And many of the ships are being modified mainly because the characters had been modified. And, I mean, you think about it, even with the fast forwarding, and you see the amount of characters and even just the amount of ships here that are being upgraded, um... Yeah, the hyperdrive bundle was expensive, but yeah, it was definitely a jump for not only characters, but for ships. So hopefully I will be a little less upset with the gameplay and how things are going. Only time will tell, but it definitely changed the power structure of my characters. So I may have to modify some squads. I'm fast forwarding through about five more minutes of ship footage. And again, I had well over an hour of video recorded internally on my iPhone in regards to this bundle. So now I'm going to get on to spending energy and crystals and whatever. And first energy I'm going to spend is on mods. So I'm going to move over here, and if you look at one of the mods, I have 644 in mod energy when 144 is the maximum. So I'm just going to spend a horrendous amount of energy on mods, and whatever plays out, plays out. I still have another 300 and something to go, so I'm going to slide over and buy some more mods, and yeah, 320, what the heck, move that back to 208, and there you go, you get some various mods that you can use, and further modify characters. Now I'm going to spend a lot of that extra canteen energy, cantina energy, to get Chief Chirpa up, and we'll see, 240 Okay, I need five more. I'm gonna keep spending the Cantina energy until I can get Chief Chirpa. Yep, just two shots, and Chief Chirpa is now at seven stars. So hey, 
promotion time, one million bucks, or whatever. And he is now up to seven stars. So that means I can raise his character level up to 85, which is usually what I do for a seven star character. And then I'll be able to gear him up possibly even more. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do this without the, I guess, hyperdrive bundle. And it would have taken me more days and even weeks to get Chief Chirpa up. So, yeah, I guess it's a pretty good thing he's going to be leading my Ewoks from this point on. And, yeah, I was able to Omega modify up all of his skills to the max. And so far, well, I don't have enough for the Zeta upgrade, but so far, this has been a good bundle. Okay, I'm still looking at the Ewoks here, and I can upgrade Logray thanks to the stuff I purchased when, or Cantina Energy I spent, and I gained some ability mats. So now that I've got Logray upgraded, I'm going to switch to try and find um, character energy spending. Okay, the first character I'm going to spend on the, what is it, Vandar, Vandor Chewbacca, spend some energy on him. And I maxed him out right away. So now i got to find another character. Enfeast can't. So now where do I go? Let's see. Smugglers, Support, Sith. Let's see. Uh, this character... Nope. I, Cantina Energy. It seems like a lot of characters I'm looking at are Cantina Energy. So... Yeah, Fallen Bastila Shane, I'm going to spend some energy on. And somehow I maxed her out. And I've got other characters. I still have a high level. I even have some ship energy. So let's see if I can find some other characters to spend the remainder of my character energy on here. Okay, I've decided on General Veers here, and I'm going to just spend 80 on him. It'll drop my character energy down to 106. Now I have to worry about the ship energy and spending that. Okay, I'm going to fight the Battle of Jakku and see with all the modified ships if I can get through it because I was having a hard time getting the final star on this battle. So let's watch a little bit of this before I fast forward. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this battle to the end, and I'll show you what happened. Victory. I have the three stars. Now, when you win these battles and you get the three stars, you can sim through them and multi-sim to gain ships or anything else, gear, mats, whatever. So, I'm going to see if I can spend the rest of my ability mats here, or not ability mats, but ship energy and I'm going to spend 200 here because I need the MKs and again spend 200 more it's going to drop it down to 203 and I'm going to step back here not spend 200 just spend 80 maybe nine, ah, just spend 100 and get some gear now the characters, I'm going to go back. I can modify right here. Darth Vader, craft and equip him. He's a step closer to gear level 13. Going to look for anything else? Nope. Well, hey, that's the hyperdrive bundle. And this video is about 20 minutes long. So I would definitely invest in the hyperdrive bundle 
if you got the money. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.